Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise now in today's video what I want to do is focus on the gems now which of the stats are the most important one I've previously talked about this um, with my guide on the gems but I want to make a dedicated video to this because um, I feel like this is very very important to increase your power now before we carry on with the video guys there are going to be five different codes in the comment section one use only codes or one time use only codes where only five people can claim it once someone else has claimed it you will not be able to claim it so if it's used already it will not work so I don't want to see people telling me down in the comment section the codes doesn't work if it doesn't work someone else has claimed it and please do not dislike the video simply because you did not get a code every single video moving forward will always have five different codes in the comment section so if you want to make sure you guys can get some codes make sure you are subscribed make sure that post notification is on the codes will give you 1k gems and i know you guys really want that gems so that you guys can go ahead and summon on alicia continue to support the channel via the official content creator program for solo leveling arise the links will be in the comment section and in the description of the video if you support me you will be getting a code as long as you contact me only the top 50 on the official website will be given a code however if you contact me via discord and show me proof i will be going ahead and giving you guys the codes as well anyways so this section oh yeah don't forget to like us and subscribe guys um you know putting out content for solo leveling and rise it takes a lot of my time because i try to put, like make like five videos a day or at least four videos a day and of course making sure the videos are good enough for you guys so continue to support the channel by liking and subscribing now the initial goal for this section is basically to fill this up as much as possible and as fast as possible as well. So you don't want to fuse just yet, you just want to fill this up. This might mean you include certain stats that you don't deem worthy, but you had to do it simply because it stops you from unlocking other section of the gems because you need to make sure that you put if you put a gem in here, you can't really unlock the next slot until you unlock every single one for the rest of the color. So you need to do this as fast as possible. Again, you might have to include certain gems that are not that great, but just to get that initial boost in CP, initial boost in attack stats or HP stat, you need to do that. Now, there are a couple of gems that I think are absolutely useless, which is like the, ge the speed gem. Um, so again, I don't think this is that great, but you might have to use those. Now, going over to the fusion section, we can actually see, so we can actually see the proper stats that we want so of course rank 4 would be end game what i would recommend is of course filling your slots as much as possible and then if you end up putting in a gem that you don't deem worthy you can then start picking off the ones that you want to change so you might it might not even be the best rarity but if you had one like speed but you have a low rarity um, mp consumption reduction or mp increase then just honestly just switch it out um, even if it doesn't increase your rank or your CP by much, at least gives you a better increase in your stats because uh, speed, not that useful. So going over to fusion, the most important ones are going to be the percentage value ones for attack, HP and um, defense. So I've done a calculation. So if you gave yourself a 2% one, so this is 2% increase in your HP. It is um, in your attack it is better than the flat increase so i did a quick calculation with my song jinru two percent of his attack is about 395 uh five attack increase compared to 155 from the flat increase so again percentage value is going to be the better one it should be the same for the, the um, hp and the defense one so what your goal is at the end is to fill out your entire gem red section with attack increase of two percent so that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and sixteen so you get a sixteen percent increase in your attack now for the hp section or to defense sorry the same exact thing now you might also want to use deep damage reduction but because most okay uh, uh, most um hunters in the future we will also get ones that scale off defense compared to like anyone scaling off damage reduction of course damage reduction protects your characters but you do want to increase your damage overall and there are certain characters that do scale off defense so i do think again maybe filling up this entire slot with the increase in defense would be better same thing with hp as well you do have healing received increase now i do think this could actually be useful simply because min Min sucks at healing, like absolutely sucks at healing. His healing isn't that great. So if you want to actually make Min viable at healing, you could 
use this which increases your healing by 0.1% now at max value, what is it? Let me see. I said could, I never said it's the best, by the way. I said could. Um, so healing received is 0.6%. So if you max it all out, I don't think you really need this, honestly. I think you should just go with HP because it actually helps increase your HP of your characters. And uh, initially just better. I think this HP is better than the healing received. I just wanted to mention that though. And then for the let's say i've talked about defense for this section it is a little bit difficult to recommend but i do think the crit hit damage is the better one um increasing your crit rate damage or your crit hit damage is always better however defense penetration there is a reason why you could use this there are certain characters that do want defense penetration however because i think crit hit damage is universal and literally any damage dealer needs crit hit damage i think this is the better one to go with so you could fill up your entire orange section with crit hit damage or you could have certain ones with defense penetration but i do think i will personally just go with crit hit damage so for me crit hit damage all the way for this section this is a little bit difficult to to say as well because mana consumption reduction versus the additional mana it is very hard to say which one is better but i do think the additional mana power is better than reduction of mana cons uh, mana consumption um so mana consumption 90 it's really hard to understand how this works honestly it just says 90 i wish they said percentage so that we know oh reduces the amount of consumption by a certain percentage that would honestly be better but it says a flat number and if you go ahead and take a look at your hunters again if you take a look at mana co consumption reduction it's n there was no percentage so i don't know how useful it is uh, but when we know you can increase your mana by a certain amount, I do think, okay, that's probably better to do. So certain characters, they do have like huge mana consumption. So this is 59 mana consumption for this one. Now, what you could do is give a mana reduction. But if you can increase your mana consumption by a mana that you, your character has by 59, that honestly feels way better. So if I go into fusion, again, just to take a look at the percentage. So for mana consumption, for mana additional mana, 47. I do think additional mana is better, honestly. So again, what I would try and do is fill up my entire purple with additional mana power. That would be my goal. So again, the most important ones are the attack percentage, the HP percentage, the defense, uh, defense percentage, the crit hit damage percentage, and the additional mana uh, power gem as well. The ones that are also viable is mana consumption and the defense penetration um, you can also go with actually no that's pretty much it that's pretty much it so for me i already told you guys my plan where i'm just going to try and focus on crit damage fill out this entire slot with the red ones now when, when i finally fix all of my uh, slots and finally get it all maxed out uh or filled up the first thing I'm going to start doing is taking a look at the stats that I don't need. So this damage reduction, even if I have a low rarity um, defense percentage or defense flat number, I will just replace this. This will be the first one to go for the blues, for the green section. So if I go over to the red, we've got additional attack percentage, attack percentage. So honestly, I'll keep this until I get a better rarity. Okay, so this one will be the first one to go again. Um, yeah, that will be the first one to go again. Actually, wait a minute. At low rarity, that is something we have to test as well, actually. I might have to do a little bit of calculation. So, low rarity ones, is it the same with percentage? So, 0.75%. Let me just do calculation right now. 0.75%. So, 0.75%. That is 140. Okay, yeah, it's the same thing. Percentage is better. Again, for low rarity ones. Perfect. Um, so, again... That will be the first for me. This will be the first one to replace with an attack percentage. For this section, uh, additional HP, this is percentage. That's actually really good. Okay, so for this one, I would replace the flat increase in HP. So let me see. Do I have... Okay, I would not... See, look, you guys are going to tell me to just put this in so I can get that initial boost in CP. So let's say I include this in right now. For the orange one, I could put the perception as well. Precision, sorry. But then... I would have okay i've got the speed one in here for the green one i have nothing so there's no real re need, need for me to rush this i guess at the end of the day you do want to get increased in cp but I'm, I'm not putting in those gems but again the main goal is to speed this up but i, I really don't want to put this in so that's for me that's just me doing not putting in 
did this stuff in um it will be a really good increase though actually so i'm only missing green right there's nothing for green let me see if i can i might be i might be able to find green today no green is okay so i can just wait five hours to finally get um so i still have my stuff as well so i can farm this do one stage in here one stage in the red one as well let's just try and get better oh damn i haven't done this damn okay that's a mistake right there so i might actually just have to use my entire daily reward on this over here um to get better one so hopefully we can get some crit crit hit damage from here so yeah hopefully you guys find this video helpful let me know down in the comment section if you guys have filled in your entire slots i do know a lot of people did fuse most of the low rarity gems um i did that as well so that's why i'm a little bit behind i think on day one as long as you actually did the bond stuff you should be able to actually fill out your entire slot but um i'm not in any rush to actually fill this up honestly um but if you are like early game you still have content to progress that increase in the attack percentage uh, defense percentage defense uh, defense percentage will actually come in handy as well uh but the most useless gem in my opinion is definitely the speed one i think it could be useful for like end game stuff like uh this one when you want to move as fast as possible but it's just a little increase in speed i don't think it's that insane actually wait a minute let me see speed 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 yeah there's no point there's literally no point it's pretty useless anyways it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out